welcome back to a new channel for this uh new video new channel what am i on about i don't know for this for this uh video i'm just going to explain to you what i'm going to do and i might film tomorrow me day my hair but first of all i got brown hair dye in my hair so as i'm going going to go in for a bath i thought i would use this color remover it's called her pre-vogue hair color remover so i'm going to use this to get rid of all the brown dye and then tomorrow i thought i will fill dye in my hair this which is called the color feeder uh, metallic glory hair dye in graphite gray i thought as i'm going gray anyway why not dye my hair gray as we can't as we're in another lockdown i know sucks but as we're in another lockdown i thought we can't go to the hair salons so i thought we will film me dyeing my hair great i'll film myself doing this tomorrow as i will use the color remover first so i'll do that i'm not done doing the color remover because it's a bit boring but when i get done to dye my hair tomorrow with this i will film see you right there guys uh, as you see from the last little clip, um, I've taken all the hair removal out, um, but my hair is still quite dark. And as I'm going to be dyeing it graphic grey, I have decided to bleach my hair first, and then I'll put the dye on because I want it to come out like the top colour. So that's a bleached hair, and then I don't know if you can see that. It's like a dark grey, but it comes more prominent. So to bleach my hair, I have bought bleaching bleaching powders and then four percent volume of the peroxide. My hair probably take two of these. So <laughs> I used to bleach my hair before, and it wrecked my hair. So here goes nothing so i'm just going to section it off if you see me looking up it's because i got my, my, my mirror like right there so just grab like some sections and then pop it up like that I am wearing an old top. I will advise if you are going to do this. Probably the best way is to wait until the salon's open, but I'm I haven't got time. So the powder looks like that. It's like a blue powder. <coughs> and then take the peroxide in. And then using the brush, just mix it in so it's like a paste. So you just mix it up. Until it's all nice and smooth. If you are going to bleach it, make sure you're in a well ventilated room. I'm going to open my window actually. Just to get rid of some of the fumes because it stinks. And then when you get to a nice paste, you just brush it on. And then I'm not I don't know if you are supposed to use your hands but I'm going to so sod it. Just make sure you get covering. The hair. 
they do say to put like an old towel on but I'm on an old top anyway so it don't really matter so I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I will check in with you guys later right guys as you can see I've put the bleach on it has gone a bit patchy but that's okay because the dye is quite dark anyway so as you can see part of it where I put too much bleach on has gone really really light and then where the darker patches and is where I didn't put enough bleach on but like I said tomorrow now when I put the, the dark grey on it'll go dark anyway so the dark patches won't show up as much can you use bleach from the kitchen? <sighs> funny and the rubber but that's probably like I said it's probably gone patchy where I didn't put enough bleach on in certain areas because it's quite tricky bleaching your hair yourself that's why I think you should leave until it goes to the hairdressers but I'm an impatient person and I just can't wait for that long so yeah we shall see what result tomorrow we'll have but I left the bleach on for 20 minutes so maybe I should have left it on for a little bit longer but as you can see like here and <laughs> get hair everywhere and here is where I put too much of the bleach on and then like I said where it's like darker areas like up here is where I didn't put enough enough bleach on so it's all you know trial and error but like I said the dark grey will like cover the grit cover the dark areas anyway but it'll just be more prominent in certain areas than it is than it is in others but hey ho we all live and learn so i shall see you tomorrow right guys it's the next day as you can see my hair has been bleached but i would not recommend bleaching your own hair because my hair is absolutely dry and it feels awful so now it's time to apply the gray the graphite gray so it comes with the color developer and the colorant and then the conditioner for afterwards so let's see what we've got to do so uh, application Sorry guys, I'm just reading what I need to do. Right, so you mix them two together, apply it, leave on for 25 minutes. So let's mix them up. So it comes out of the two that colour and Pull that in. I think I need more room in my bathroom because my bathroom is quite tiny. So let's put it up in here on my little shelf where my phone I don't know how this is going to turn out, but only one way to find out. Now, as you can see, though, guys, my hair is it feels awful. Bleach really does dry your hair out. I used to bleach my hair on a regular basis before I dyed it back to. Before I decided to go more of a grey because I'm turning turning grey <laughs> so I thought why not make sure all the colorant goes into the developer squeeze every last drop out of this god dyeing your own hair is extremely messy but you know as we're in lockdown I might as well 
experiment. As you can see, all the colorant is now in. So, give it a shake. God, this formula is so thick. So you do it like that. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I shall pop back with you in a minute when it's on. Right guys, I washed the hair dye off and it doesn't look that bad. I might have to get another box to go over the lights a bit, but because as you can see where it's gone light there it hasn't quite cover it but my hair is thick anyway so I need, probably need two boxes anyway but yeah so that is the end result give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and I shall see you guys again bye guys